hot weather and swimsuits coming, a lot of people are counting calories. Counting calories, kind of like counting jelly beans mm. in a jar, cards at a casino. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Yeah, but to help break it down, let's start by showing you what just 100 calories looks like. It's all about you. I'm so tired of counting every calorie I consume so I know exactly how much self-loathing to take into the shower. Now, I'm not one for counting calories, but it's at least good to know what 100 calories looks like. Sprouts nutritionist Janet Little shows us using some of our favorite foods. Like these potato chips here, okay. about 10 potato chips are going to give you 100 calories. Oh, goodness, okay. Yes, and yeah. most people eat a whole bag. Next on the list is ice cream bars. One third of this ice cream bar, this little guy right here, is 100 calories. Foods that that have a lot of fat and have a lot of calories tend to taste enjoyable. But we need to <laughs> no kidding me, Janet. Oh, we goodness. need to limit our portion control of that. Heartbreaking but necessary so you don't end up eating like the clumps. Get away from that! Stop it! <laughs> Let's move on. Now a steak is very good, protein source. This one's lean and fat, but right here it's about two ounces. It's about a hundred calories. Okay. Especially when you go to a restaurant, what do they ask you? Would you like a 12 ounce or an 18 ounce steak? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. While being nutritious, avocados and granola are surprisingly high in calories, but there are foods where 100 calories go a long way. A cup of raspberries or three cups of broccoli is about 100 calories. Wow. Changing the way we look at portions, <laughs> it's all about you.